One of two things are gonna happen today. I'm gonna defeat Shadow. Or, I'm gonna throw my phone into the wall in a fit of rage. Which is gonna be? Watch to find out. Alright guys, today we have to beat Shadow. Look at him, just standing there, just mocking me. I'm gonna beat you, boy. Today it's happening. So I don't have a very good plan for it. I have different sets I want to try. But first I want to try Shadow uh, Void Warden set because like the synergy, the special ability of this set is completely useless for Shadow. But what is not useless is the weapon. The weapon, I think, maybe the best weapon to fight the Shadow with because it has insane heavy attack with insane range. So you brought her here, it seems you're not as useless old madman and old bolo. Wait, we already, we already, we already read this story. I know, yeah, over Moira, yeah, 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 shut up, Shadow. Guys, we're gonna beat him, even if I have to put my strongest uh, items on myself. I, we, can, we gotta beat him today, just, just keep watching, it's gonna happen. I just wanna try this out. Take your Shadow Mind from her and put into the core. Please, I don't want to do that. Prepare to die, descending. Okay. Mr. Robot. <laughs> so, there's two good things about this head. First, it's heavy attack. This is the heavy attack. Okay, yeah. And second, a good thing is... Uh, oh, it can't even reach. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this is not happening. Can the snake paralyze him? No. The snake is completely useless. Alright, so this set does no damage whatsoever. Shadow attacks don't do no damage whatsoever. Let's try something else. <laughs> I can make it easy, guys. I have the power to make it easy. But I'm not gonna. Alright, so this is like assortment of different stuff. I'm trying, uh, I'm using the uh, the katana because I think it's one of the best weapons. Uh, composite glaive. It's one of the best weapons for the second stage because your shadow attack can place you on the other side of the robot, so it's gonna be extremely useful. Also, I'm using uh, Herald's helmet. My strongest helmet because shadow attacks for the for the first two parts is extreme are extremely useful so I need my helmet to be as powerful as possible and also uh, I'm using some armor and I'm using my strongest range weapon because range weapon are also very important let's see I'm gonna try to beat shadow and insane guys but even if I can't then I'm gonna switch to like maybe hard but I'm not doing it on easy every single youtuber I saw beating shadow did it on easy and I'm not gonna be that guy I'm gonna do it on insane or hard at worst. Hard is my like limit. Okay, normal is my limit, but not easy. Shoot this boy in the face. Uh oh, this is Oh, it's this one. Okay, my bad. My bad, Mr. Robot! Don't kill me yet! So the way you do it, you need to wait for him to start attacking you and then do this. And you're gonna end up on the other side of him and you can repeat this again! You're unstoppable, baby! Shadow Ivy, you're the best person, the best fighter in the world. Guys, we did it on perfect, can you imagine? And I'm gonna leave my shadow attacks for the next round because I need... You really need to switch direction as fast as possible. And this is how you do it. Composite kata uh, uh, Glaive has the best shadow ability, guys, for the robot. That's, I already discovered this in the previous video. Now he has rocket, so uh, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult.
As soon as he attacks, I'm gonna do this. And you're back, baby. Yeah, this is not great. Yeah, I messed up. I messed up. It's okay. I forgot how to. I, I the last time I tried to fight him was a while ago. So let me let me just remember how to fight the second stage. Oh no, I didn't switch directions! Ah crap! Okay, yeah, this is this is gonna take a while guys, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying. I want I, I know I can beat him. I know I can beat him on insane. Oh <gasps> Is it the one I was missing? No, it's not the one I was missing. Yeah, it's not the one I was missing. That was a different sword. Damn it, I was so excited for a second there. Oh well. Great, we got two tickets. Why did I open it? I didn't mean to open this! Now I have to participate in Big Splash event. I don't want to! I should have waited for the next event. Crap, I'm dumbass. Such a dumb idiot. Now if I don't participate in a big splash, I'm just gonna lose it. Okay, fine, I will. Shut up, go to hell, stupid June. Ah! 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 My god, that was close. Freaking close. Alright, I found a strategy, guys. So I'm, I'm gonna explain to you after. Uh... So when he does this move, anything he does, when he does this move with a, with, with a stomp, he will not shoot rocket, so you can uh, s safely attack him. But if you see he attacks with a blade, he will shoot rocket, so you need to uh, go forward to him. Shadow, relax, baby. Wow, this freaking freaking is so freaking, guys. I can't even believe it. Holy crap, he's hard. I don't even know what to do with him. I can't. I can't do it! I now know how to beat the robot, but I can't beat the shadow. He kicks the crap out of me and he doesn't take any damage. Like, I'm sorry. I can't do it on insane. I'm just... I'm just not strong enough. So see this attack with the swords, after that one he will always shoot the rocket, but after this one he won't shoot the rockets. So it's very important which attacks he will shoot the rockets and which he won't. You can use it to your advantage. Now here, when he starts moving, do this. It's not gonna work every time, you, you can get wrecked sometimes. But if you get lucky when he does this step, he you will you'll be able to, you 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 really need to get lucky, guys. Sometimes you won't be able to teleport unless you're using like uh, katana. I think like uh, shadow slit. No, not the shadow. The other one. Uh, the fate uh, fate's end. Fate's end can actually uh, allow you to. Uh, It allows you to teleport, as far as I remember. So it, if you have Fate's End, you'll you'll be fine. And also, you have to get lucky with your deflection or pr primal protection. One of those, the ones that reduces the damage of attacks. If you get lucky with those, you're also gonna be fine. But you need to get lucky. This fight is all about luck. If you're fighting it on insane or anything higher, so this attack, you can safely shoot him. He's not gonna shoot his rockets. Now watch, after this attack, go forward to him, and now go backwards again, and now you can uh, knock him out, do some shadow damage. Now when he steps, try to do this. If you get lucky, you'll be able to, to fuse... Okay, you didn't get lucky this time. I didn't get lucky this time at all. Okay, this one is dangerous. Oh, come on, I thought it was close enough. See, it's impossible to do... Con like. 
I don't believe there's a single person in the world that can do this on insane every single time. There is so much luck involved. one try on this now. Great! Amazing! Fantastic job! Alright, bring it on, boy! I can't let him attack at all. One, one, he's attacking, I'm dead. Are you serious? I come on, it takes so hard to get here! <laughs> I hate you!
Yeah, this is this is the tactics, guys. Keep keep your distance. Your shadow attacks is your strength. No! Keep your distance. Regenerate shadow attacks. In this round though, you can't let him attack at all. This round is really complicated. But I have three tries, I'm pretty confident. This is the one guys, this is the time we defeated. Come on, let's do it! I still don't know this- I still don't have a good strategy for this round, but hopefully after this, if, even if I don't win, I'll be able to build a good strategy for the next try. You have no idea how long I've been trying to beat this guy on Insane, and so far, I, I have a perfect strategy for first three rounds, except the last one. Do you attack him? Do you give him distance? I think you don't give him distance. You you can't give him distance. Yeah, I don't think you give him distance. That would be stupid. Well, that was a lot of damage. How do you not get hit by that? How do you not get hit by that? I have no idea. I have no freaking clue. Like, how, how, how not to get hit by this? Tell me how. I tried to do shadow attack, but he... I should have done different shadow attack. I think if I did different shadow attack, I would win. Alright. Still don't have a strategy. The strategy is just not to let him attack. Just try to keep him occupied all the time. That's, that's the only strategy, guys. survive this we survive this twice please God. I like how there is no sound, just music and stuff happening. I love it. Oh my. So, wait, how does she have power without Shadow Mind? What? So, she is powerful even without Shadow Mind inside her? She's a god! Guys, she's a god! Wait, what? Don't tell me we're gonna fight again. Where is the Shadow's descendant? I can't lose her now. She is the reason of my being and she is still alive. I'll feel her. Well, no crap! I beat the crap out of you in the previous round! What are you talking about, boy? 
She died, as the whole world did. You're an accelerator core. Your power is absolute and you're mourning some descendant? What? I'm dead? Shadow Life is dead? No way. We won. How can we be dead? And also, why is... Who is this stranger? Why is everybody dead but not this stranger? I'm curious. The world doesn't exist outside the core. You can create it again and rule its people. You can make them fight each other. Well, that's what, what's been happening so far, I guess. I don't need such world. I'm incomplete without a descendant. I'd suffer as I did before in the sphere forever. Shadow Mind is gonna turn back time and bring us back! Let's do it! My power is absolute, that's true, I know it. I'll turn back time itself and the Descendant will prevail this time. God damn, I love this game. Turn back time, it will solve any problems you will ever have. Why don't you, why don't we turn back time, go back to the Shadow's time and kill Shadow when he was a baby? Let's kill all the babies! <clears throat> if you do this, her life will be exactly will end exactly the same. The world will be destroyed, but I can tell you how to change the fate. Okay. Guys, we're gonna go back in time, I guess. Let's do it. Let's go back, baby. We're going back in time. Ooh, what what what? Moira destroyed our world, but the descendant traveled in the past thrice her three travels created three alternate worlds uh oh okay every one of these three alternate planes have it has its own shadow descendant copy not an exact one she won't remember you i don't care i mean i care because i'm a descendant the descendant never realized how important her companions were for the world's fate but you will help her understand i always knew itu was a good guy and he was very strong and all does it mean that I'll be imprisoned in the sphere again? Yes, you will be. Thank you. Yes, you will. But you do believe in the Descendant, don't you? She'll find you sooner or later. Wow, this Shadow Mind is such a sweetie. He believes in us, guys. We can disappoint him. She'll learn a lot with you in these three planes. Once she gets her companion's powers, she'll be able to change the fate. What? We're gonna kill Ido, June, and who was the third one? And Marcus? And we're gonna get their powers? I like it! Let's do it! Keep in mind that these are alternate planes. The Descendants' copies are weaker than her. Your path won't be easy. Good luck. I'm not weak. Oh, weaker! That makes sense. We're gonna get back and we're gonna lose part of our power. So all my weapons are gonna be less powerful. Well, that sucks. Nightmares haunted the Dynastian Princess mercilessly, but this particular dream... Shadow Mind. You took Princess June's place! We must be very proud of yourself, murderer! Wait, what's happening? The world of the princess will get back at you. I will make you lie, cheat and steal. You'll be living caught in the crossfire. Wait, Shadow Mind is now inside June? Will you dare to walk in June's shoes and get her power? It's the only way to prevent the end of the world and your own end. June's plane. Okay, great. Mom, my, you're the nasty and princess, I presume. Quick, let's test your reflexes. Try to defeat me. What is happening? Why, why am I fighting some stranger? Boy, you have no chance against June. I just defeated a freaking Shadow Shadow, baby! Uh oh, we're dead. Why are we fighting strangers? It seems that your body is quite unstable in this world. This plane rejects you like a foreign object, but I know what to do. Oh, this is Shadow Mind inside June! Okay. But he's not in the sphere then, I don't get it. Here is some new equipment for you, it will help you get more stable. We leveled up to level 25, I guess? Okay. New equipment, let's see. This is not new. Or is it? Wait, why does it have this little... Oh, interesting. But we have a rare set now on our hands.
Oh, I don't see. I don't see at all. See that symbol? This is stability parameter. It shows how difficult it will be for you to overcome a fight rule. It seems like your stability is not enough to defeat me. Let's let me show you how you can increase it. Okay, sh come on, come on, go. Show me. Wow, we got stability now. Whoa, this game just got whole new level to it. God damn. So we got new stability set, I guess. Stability increased. Oh my. Splendid, your stability increased. From now on, you can increase it in collections menu. Try to find me one more time. Alright, we'll fight this guy, and this is gonna be the end of the video, guys. This is definitely gonna be the end of- this- this is probably the longest Shadow Fight video I've ever made. I'll try not to include a lot of failures f footage, but there is gonna be some, guys. There is gonna be some fun, hilarious failures. But I'm still losing health all the time, like, all the time. Like, I'm- I'm in constant bleeding, like, what the hell? That is not fair. Why am I bleeding all the time? Please? Okay. We're gonna figure this new world out in the next videos, guys. For now, this is gonna be all. Let's see if, if Stranger has anything else to tell me. Talk to me, boy. Spill your guts. Well, the game is stuck. Awesome! Now nah, we're good. Uh, I felt so good to be that shadow crap! Oh my god! I can't believe we did it with the last lot. If I didn't do it, it would take me a while. But no, actually, I figured, like, okay, so let me tell you the strategy for all stages how to beat shadow. First stage. Super easy. You just roll back, use ranged weapons, roll back, use shadow attacks and try to get on the other side of him. Use shadow attacks that teleports you to the other side of the opponent. Or try to get under him when he does his, like, this move, when he uh, lowers, to, uh, like, his sword. That's when he makes huge step where you can, like, squeeze under him if you just uh, keep attacking or rolling under him. You'll be able to get through him and appear on the other side. This is not a requirement, I defeated him without doing that, but mostly do damage with ranged attacks and shadow attacks. For the second stage, two moves, only one move, when he does like a uh, few steps and then he goes with his fist into the floor, that is a safe move. When you see him do that, just roll back and shoot at him your ranged weapon. But when he does anything with his sword, with his yellow sword, any move with the sword, you roll back as soon as he hits the, the floor, you roll towards him, so your ro the rockets don't hit you. And after that, if you have shadow attacks, that's the perfect time to use your shadow attacks and try to do to as much damage to him as possible. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. You, if you if you can manage to survive till your second sh shadow attacks uh, period, you most likely gonna win. And try not to hit, get hit by rockets. Uh, for the third. Get as much distance from Shadow as possible. He doesn't have ranged weapons, he doesn't have Shadow attacks. So as long as you keep your distance and keep doing Shadow attacks and ranged attacks, you're gonna beat him pretty easily. For the last stage, just try to survive, man. Just try to survive and try to do as... He, 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 he doesn't have much health. So as long as you can land a couple very strong specials, you'll be fine. So just try to do damage to him and not let him do that crazy move in the air. That's the whole strategy. I recommend using Herald's armor and helmet. Armor because you can use uh, all this deflection and primary protection, the one that reduces the damage taken to 14% of your health. That one is absolutely must in this. For the helmet, you can use Legion helmet because it has some protection as well, but I'm using Herald's uh, helmet because the shadow attack of the Herald's helmet is rangeless, so you can do it at any range. So that's your main source of damage, so I would recommend using Herald's uh, helmet as well for uh, f for the weapon honestly just I, I absolutely loved composite glaive in this because it, it has a chance to teleport you if you use it right and it also does pretty decent damage so just choose the weapon you, you're comfortable with and it has a nice shadow attack that you can actually land all right now we're talking! I knew you would manage. Just don't forget to check your stability is enough for the next fight. Okay, I will check. Don't worry. Now go! Your father is waiting for you. We'll meet again. I know it. Congratulations, guys. 
We did it. We beat Shadow. You you wanted me to beat Shadow so badly. And I beat it on Insane. I'm pretty sure there is not a single other YouTuber who beat the Shadow on Insane. I'm 99% sure. I haven't checked for a while, but since my last try, everybody just beats him on Easy and gets through him. So, like, he's not even... He's not even fun on Easy, but on Insane, I spent one and a half hours trying to beat him. But it was fun! Thank you for watching! Subscribe to, for more fun and... Leave me a comment saying something nice, please. Goodbye.